This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Apply the handbrake. Chalk the rear wheels to prevent the vehicle from rolling. Pull the hood release lever located on the driver's side kick panel. Lift the hood safety latch, then raise the hood upwards and support it with the prop rod. Turn the heater temperature control to the maximum heat setting. With the engine cool, slowly unscrew and remove the radiator cap. Move a large container under the radiator drain fitting to catch the coolant. Open the drain fitting until coolant starts flowing from the drain hole. A pair of pliers may be required to turn it. Allow the coolant in the radiator to drain completely. While the coolant is draining, check the condition of the radiator hoses heater hoses, and clamps. Replace any damaged clamps or hoses before refilling the cooling system. Once the coolant has finished draining, tighten the radiator drain plug securely by hand. Dispose of the used coolant properly. Cooling system filling. Slowly fill the cooling system with the proper type and mixture of antifreeze up to the base of the radiator filler neck. Add coolant to the reservoir until it reaches a little above the min mark. Wait five minutes, then recheck the coolant level in the radiator, adding more if necessary. Leave the radiator cap off, then start and run the engine in a well-ventilated area until the thermostat opens. Coolant will begin following through the radiator and the upper radiator hose will become hot. Turn the engine off and let it cool. Add more coolant mixture to bring the level back up to the base of the filler neck. Squeeze the upper radiator hose to expel any trapped air, then add more coolant mixture if necessary. Install the radiator cap. Start the engine, allow it to reach normal operating temperature, and check for leaks.